talked with Yoli Childs uh, the other day, and we would like to share that conversation with the star freshman forward from BYU with all of you, including what it was like for him to enter the starting lineup as a kid right off that yellow bus. Take me to the moment when you found out that Kyle Davis was going to be done for the year and that you were going to be inserted into the BYU starting lineup as a true freshman. What was your mentality like? Oh, man. Uh, that was rough, actually. I, I mean, obviously it's exciting to get a start and stuff, but that was, that was kind of tough for me because since the day I got here, Kyle's been a mentor for me, and he's been like a big brother, honestly. Uh, from the day I got here, he was helping me out in conditioning. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, moving from high school to college conditioning, I was like, I can't do this. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, bro, I promise I got you. Like, And, like, through his skill work and practice, he was always there for me, helping me out, showing me what to do, what I needed to be doing before and after practice. So it's been tough, but he's taken it really well, and uh, he's been supportive for our team, and he's, he's always been around. And I don't know, it's tough, but – but it's always cool to start, but yeah, it was kind of a tough thing for me. And that's that's been a big deal because he was <clears throat> one of just two seniors on this team. Mm -hmm. um, so how, how how is he helping lead but off the court now? Um, he's a really vocal leader. He always has been, so that hasn't changed about him. And now he can kind of see a perspective from off the court. So honestly, he can see a lot more things, like things that the coaches can see. So uh, he can still help out a lot. After a loss against San Diego on Saturday, what is the team mentality like trying to get back on track and, and right the ship? I mean, it sucks. We got a ton of guys that hate to lose, but we just get back in and get focused. And I think we had a really good practice yesterday. And that's what I love about this team. No matter what happens, we're going to come back and practice hard every day and uh, just prepare for the next game. How do you cope with a loss like that? Because when we have a bad show, we haven't had one before, but when we have a bad show, the idea is just turn the lights off, just kind of lay on the ground, you know, for a few minutes, and then, and then pick yourself up. So how do you cope with a loss? Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing. It sucks and it stings. Uh, it really it stings a little bit until the next time you go out there, but if you focus on a loss, then you're not going to play your best the next game. So same thing, if you miss a shot, you got to get ready for the next one. So I think we just got to focus on the next game and, Everyone kind of has that mentality. Randomly, Johnny Manziel was at the game. Did you ever notice he was in the stands or were you told after or I, anything? I didn't. I don't you know. didn't know he was no. at the game? Uh-uh. You, you're locked in. You're focused. I think that's good. I'm ready. You know? Yeah. I thought he'd like come to the locker room and say hey or something, but I guess not. I guess not. I guess no. this isn't his kind of school. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely the case. Drake has gone. Drake is friends with Lamont Murray at Pepperdine. You open Drake's at the Pepperdine game when you guys play there in a few weeks? Uh, that'd be pretty sweet. I mean, but you won't notice him either. I'd rather have Kanye there, but <laughs> <laughs> Drake's okay too. Oh, I think I just gave away an answer for my little Twitter question. That's okay. That's Ignore okay. that. Ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't give away too much. <laughs> I've I've enjoyed those, by the way. Elijah Bryant oh, said, yeah. "Oh, I'm afraid of sharks." This one time, <laughs> I was on the beach, and the, and they heard that they I heard blew the song. whistle. Yeah. I didn't hear it. Like, no, I'm just kidding. He's, he, he, no, he goes, and then there was a shark behind. No, there actually wasn't. <laughs> Yoli Childs with us, freshman forward for the BYU basketball team. You mentioned that practice was really good coming off of that loss. What made it a good practice? Uh, just the intensity about it. Uh, Coach Rose was great about it. He said, like, as a player, all you want to do is get out and play after a loss. So we had a lot of full court drills. Uh, a lot of competition going at each other, not just a lot of uh, five on no type of stuff. So it was good to just go at each other and play hard. You're averaging eight and a half uh, points per game, seven and a half rebounds, which are really good numbers uh, for your first year uh, in college. What have you done to, to try and uh, be your best in your freshman season? Uh, I just kind of listen to the guys around me. Uh, I got a lot of leadership, a lot of guys that have been where I am and that know what to do. So. I just try to listen and try to learn every day and just play as hard as I can. Who are some of the guys that influence you the most? Uh, Kyle, obviously. Eric, because uh, he's just he's been where I am. And then LJ. LJ is huge. I mean, he's one of the best leaders I've ever played with. He, uh, he helps everybody out from all positions. He knows things from being at two different schools and knows different ways to, to move on the court and different ways to position yourself. So LJ has been huge for me. I imagine uh, listening to what Eric has to say on the court is probably valuable. Off the court, I don't know. Like, what do you think of maybe 
<laughs> Eric Mika off the court because he can be a character, right? He's fun. Eric off the court. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, he's a clown. He's a clown for sure. He's a, he's a fun dude. Uh, he's an awesome guy too, though. He can be really serious, and uh, we've had some good talks and stuff. And he's he's one of my best friends up here, so he's a good guy. Yeah, I'm I'm glad that mustache mustache is gone yeah <laughs> me and gabby <laughs> right for sure everybody we talk to on this boa basketball team whether it's a coach or a player kind of says the same thing about lj rose what is he like in the locker room because we hear oh he's amazing in the locker room. what what is he doing is, is he the in your face guy is he the motivator like how, what's he like there uh he has a fun personality and everything and he'll joke around but he just he seems so much older than he is he's he seems like a coach honestly like he's he's a he's a teammate he's like a brother but his mentality is kind of like a coach because he's been around the game so long and he just knows so much about the game and from all positions and can help everybody out uh you had a stretch there where it's a struggle from the free throw line and we were talking and and spencer uh who knows your uh, i guess one of your aau coaches tim davis said no no no, he's he's a good free throw should watch you've made 13 of your last 18 72 percent the last six games so what what did you change to make that adjustment and be better from the stretch uh, I actually worked with uh, my AU coach a bit on uh, different things to focus on, holding the ball tighter and things like that, but just getting reps up. I've been shooting uh, 100 free throws every day, so mm -hmm. that's helped a lot. But a lot of it's mentality. So I feel like I'm a good free throw shooter, and there's a stretch there where uh, mentally I just don't think I was right. Yeah, shout out to Tim Davis, by the way. Yeah, yeah He's going to watch Shout out that. to Tim. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know where to point. <laughs> <laughs> Yoli Childs with us in Studio He's B. Point everywhere. Yeah. You'll what, find. what are your expectations for this team at, at this point? Because, I mean, you beat teams like Princeton and Colorado and feeling good, and then you had the losses against Utah Valley and, and San Diego. So what, what is the expectation for this team right now? Uh, I mean, I always have high expectations, and I think the guys on our team do as well. And I think no matter who we're playing, we have a chance to win. So I don't go into any game thinking, oh, we're, we're probably going to lose this game or this team's favored to beat us. So every game we go into, I think we're going to win. And there's some really important games coming up, uh, first of which is Pepperdine uh, Thursday night and then Pacific uh, Saturday after that. 16 days away from, uh, or 15, I guess, from uh, Gonzaga. So it'll be fun. There's some fun games. Let's talk names. We've asked you this before, but remind people what the, I guess, origin or meaning of your name is. Okay, so my full name means do the will of God. Do the will of God. Yeah. Yoli. Uh huh. Yoli Bingon. Libby is my like legal last name, uh -huh. but I go by Childs. By Childs. Okay. Yeah. That that's an amazing uh, meaning. I love that. And then, do you have nicknames because people have tried Holy Yoli Childs? <laughs> Yoli you know I mean? Man Childs. Yeah. yeah. What, what's your favorite, or what ones have you heard? <sighs> I don't know. I've got the Yoli Man Child since I was like a sophomore in <laughs> high school, so I, I've gotten kind of used to that one. I kind of hated it at first, but yeah. so whatever. Everyone just calls me Yo. Yo. But, yeah, the only man child. I guess that works. So if someone randomly bit. is talking to someone else and they go, yo, like you turned. Yeah. Yeah. You probably don't notice, but it's made a comeback. Yo's made a comeback. Mm. Your average person wouldn't know, but in the last couple of years, everyone calls each other yo. And it's, oh, this it's, is so, anno it's so annoying. <laughs> I turn yo. my head everywhere I go. Yo, yes. yo, yo. <laughs> it was uh, on the record earlier that you said you're not that great of a leaper. Hey, video evidence would suggest otherwise, Yoli. Why, why do you think you're not that great of a leaper? I mean, I, I'm pretty. I'm a pretty good jumper. I don't know. Not like unreal, but I just got really long arms. I got the seven foot wingspan, so that mm. helps me out a little bit. But I think my vertical measure lasts at like 36 and a half. That's pretty so good. That, that's good, but not like <laughs> insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, insane is the goal, right? Yeah, we'll get it up there. Yeah, we'll get it up. I'll well, get up to 40. You mentioned, uh, you know, Kanye over Drake. Uh, who controls the music in the locker room? Oh, it's Who's... a it's a battle between. Uh, so LJ and Eli have their music, mm -hmm. and then Peyton. Peyton Dastrup yeah. is involved in this. Yeah, Peyton. Peyton was like my my roommate in the summer, fresh off the mission, and everyone was like, "Oh, just try not to be weirded out. <laughs> <laughs> he's, right, he's right off the mission. He's gonna be weird. <laughs> Church music all the time." I was like, "Okay." First day he comes in, he's bumping Kanye. I was like, <laughs> first day. Yeah, first day, first day back. I was wow. like, I was like, okay. What well, What was your reaction to him uh, rowing the boat uh, Saturday? Because that made some waves on uh, Twitter. Oh, I thought it was hilarious. Uh, I love the intensity he has on the bench and how he's just uh, he's always getting the fans involved and always supporting everybody from there. So I think it's awesome. 
Everybody has expectations of what it's going to be like playing in the Marriott Center in front of BYU fans, whether at home or on the road. What have the, what has the reality been like for you playing in front of the Marriott Center crowd and then the road fans, which, you know, fill up pretty much every OA gym? Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. We have amazing fans. And uh, I feel like once you get on the court, you just kind of lock in and you don't really notice. But, like, even in, like, high school and on some of these away games, like, you'll do something cool, like dunk on somebody or someone will make a great play. And you notice it a little bit. But in the Marriott, when, like, something awesome happens, like, you can't really block it out. Like, there's, there's so many people going crazy. So it's an awesome environment. Like your put-back dunk, you noticed the crowd when you did that? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the I noticed flyer. you as well. <laughs> yeah, that 36-inch vertical was put uh, to good use as well as the seven-foot wingspan on that play. Yoli, great to talk to you, man. Uh, let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for the Pepperdine game. Appreciate it. Okay. It, how that works is you come in here, you're already a good player. You'll be that much better because you got the BYU Sports Nation karma. I'm thinking a double-double. That's just me. Ooh. Okay. All right. That's about all right. time, yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a minute. We'd also like you to sign uh, our flag before you leave studio, if that's okay. No worries. All right. Thanks, Yoli. Thanks.